Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I am your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the co-prophet of these end times. Now today I want to take a look at a Google Doodle. That is yesterday's Google Doodle, which celebrated, supposedly, the opening of the Eiffel Tower in Paris 126 years ago. However, on this program, I'm going to point out that this image actually has a much more sinister meaning. And they are rather celebrating the future destruction of Israel as found in Bible prophecy. Now, for those of you who may not be aware, on the Google web page, they very often show their Google logo hidden in some kind of artistic rendering. And the image for yesterday was about the Eiffel Tower, supposedly, as I say. I believe we are going to find that it is actually a support for the goal of the Antichrist and the one world government in the nation of Israel. Now, in order to take a closer look at this, I will put myself below the image so as not to interfere because I would also like your interpretation. Take a look and see if you don't agree with what I am saying about this Google Doodle. And we are going to discover in this Google Doodle a lot of sixes, as very often is found in Google Doodles. And of course, that is the number of Satan and his Antichrist. Now, right down the center, from right to left, we see a large beam which divides the painting roughly in half. And it also serves as a fraction line. On the left-hand side, we see six straight beams. And of course, that would symbolize Satan and the Antichrist. On the left, we see a curved truss. And that would indicate Almighty God. And this picture verifies that with the O-N-E. Now, if you look at the Groxt, he analyzes a lot of Google Doodles, and he pointed that out in his analysis of this picture. I disagree with most of the rest of his analysis, however. Now, in addition to the six beams on the right, we see that the first G of Google looks also very much like a six. And, of course, we will see that there are six painters here. So, already we have seen at least three sixes. But the most significant expression of the number six is on the three paint cans, which, if you look closely, actually show the Hebrew letter Vav. So, as you can see, the paint just so happened to drip on the side of each can in the shape of a number seven, which is actually the Hebrew letter Vav. And that indicates the number six because Vav is the sixth letter in the Hebrew alphabet. And therefore, we see another expression of 666. Now, actually, there are a total of five Vavs in this image, because you'll see that one of the workers on the right has a seven around his waist, and the worker on the left has a sideways seven, but nonetheless, those all indicate valves, and that gives a total of two valves on the right and three valves on the left. And of course, that symbolizes two over three. That's the purpose of that beam in the center, giving you that fraction sign. And two over three yields the decimal point 666. And this is not accidental, people. Whoever drew this Google Doodle knew exactly what he was doing. He was giving you many expressions of the Antichrist. And so we see many manifestations of 666, not only in the three paint cans, but also in the fraction. And in fact, we saw that with the six straight beams on the left, indicating the Antichrist and Satan, and the word one on the right, indicating Almighty God. In other words, Satan over God. And we see another expression if you take a close look at the rivets, because there are six rivets above that center painter, six below, 66 in other words, and just to the left of that, 
at an angle, it's hard to see, but there are a pair of four rivets. In other words, 44 to the left of 66. And 44 over 66 also yields the decimal 0.666. None of this is accidental, people. The next part may be accidental. The artist may not have known what he was doing, but then again, he may have. Take a closer look at that skyline. Is that the skyline of Paris? In other words, from the Eiffel Tower, or is that the skyline of Jerusalem? Now, he shows two major buildings on the right, a dome-like building and what looks like perhaps a church-like building. Now, this could be Paris. As we take a look at this scene from Paris, there is a large dome-type building and a church-type building. But if we look at Jerusalem, we also see on the Dome of the Rock, the Al-Aqsa Mosque, that would be a gold dome, and a church-type structure. I submit to you that in this Google Doodle, what we are actually witnessing is a view of Jerusalem and not of Paris. But why would this be? Well, let's turn this Google upside down and look at it the way Satan would. And I think we are going to see a much more sinister meaning to this Google Doodle. In this upside down view, those two buildings take on a much more ominous form. They look like bombs falling out of the sky, maybe ICBMs falling on Jerusalem. Even those three paint cans viewed upside down look like bombs, or at least like bullets. Could it be that the Illuminati have a completely different plan for Jerusalem now that they were unable to defeat Benjamin Netanyahu at the ballot? Are they going to defeat him by bullets? And is that what this Google Doodle is prophesying? So why do I think that that skyline indicates Jerusalem rather than Paris? Well, first of all, the three paint cans show the Hebrew letter Vav. And of course, that indicates 666. But we also see four workers on the left and two on the right. That also indicates Israel. Remember in Isaiah, where the two she-bears come out of the woods and maul those 42 youths. The two she-bears symbolize Russia and Iran in these end times. The 42 youths who made fun of the prophet Elisha symbolize the modern nation of Israel. And therefore, we see at least two indications that this Google Doodle is a prophecy about the end times destruction of Israel as prophesied in both Daniel and Zechariah. And, as far as that goes, in the Psalm 83 war. So why would the Google Doodle hide their prophecies? I mean, I give the same Bible prophecies. And the reason is because they support the goals of the Antichrist and the New World Order. They want to see Iran get nuclear weapons. They want to see a Palestinian state. They want to see the division of Jerusalem. And as I said, if they can't achieve their goal by ballots, they will achieve it through bullets. And another thing this Google Doodle will never tell you is how to thwart the plans of the Antichrist and Satan. And as I have told you many times on this program, Jesus' weapon to defeat the Antichrist is Mary's rosary, as prophesied way back in Genesis 3.15. There are three mysteries of the rosary and 15 decades. That numerology is not accidental any more than the numerology in this Google Doodle is accidental. And if you would like more information, visit my thirdeaglemedia.com website, where I, I have unsealed all the great prophecies of both Daniel and Zechariah.